My BFI player choice this week is one of the most popular and beloved European movies from the second half of the 20th century. The winner of several BAFTAs, including Best Actor, Screenplay and Original Score, and both the Oscar and Golden Globe for Foreign Language Film, Giuseppe Tornatore's Cinema Paradiso. <laughs> Philippe Noiret stars as Alfredo, the projectionist at the titular movie house in the Sicilian village of Giancaldo. When film director Salvatore De Vita learns of Alfredo's death, he's taken back to his childhood in Giancaldo, where Alfredo first allowed him into his magical world, fostering his lifelong love of cinema. From Alfredo's booth, Salvatore, who goes by the nickname Toto, witnessed the wonders of the movies, albeit censored by the local priest, who demanded that any scenes of an intimate nature be cut from the prints and left to pile up on the floor. An alluring blend of postmodern self-referentiality and old-fashioned sentimental nostalgia, Cinema Paradiso was released to an initially underwhelming response in Italy toward the end of 1988. But when a shortened international version played at Cannes in 89, it proved a crowd-pleasing hit, sharing the jury prize with Bertrand Blier's Trobel Portois and going on to become a huge international success. Some years later, Tornatore's 173-minute director's cut gave fans more of what they loved, or perhaps less. For my money, at least, the 124-minute version that I saw in a cinema back in 1990 remains the definitive version. Set largely in the time before the arrival of television, when movie theatres were a window onto the world, Cinema Paradiso plays like a parable or a fable, a peon to the inspirational power of the moving image, played out to a gorgeous score by the maestro Ennio Morricone, collaborating with his son Andrea, to memorable emotional effect. 